Dude. What? What? Oh my god. What's up guys? Just out here at a local lake getting some of that vitamin D, some of that vitamin D goodness. We out here, we got the sun, we got the water, we got some ducks. Duck duck, ducky duck duck. We got some ducks. It is sweltering hot right now. It is stupid hot. It is like 40, 41 degrees right now out here in Australia. I dare you to find me a hotter place on earth than Australia during the peak of summer. It's just unforgiving. Like Australia in during summer, during the peak of summer, it's just unforgiving. And we have like, you know, like we, we, we have it during Christmas. Like in the United States, you get Christmas where it's like snowing and stuff like that. Like that's pretty extreme. And we, like we have extreme heat. Um, some years we get like, we get really bad weather where we just get like really bad storms during the summer. Um, and that, that generally happens around Christmas time. Um, but then you get sometimes where, some years where it's just sweltering hot, like it was this year. And it's just like, you never know, like, is it gonna, is it gonna rain? Is it gonna, is it gonna be, is it gonna be sunny? Is it gonna be miserable? Like what? Australia is very bipolar. That's one thing I can say about it. It's, it's, it's very bipolar when it comes to weather. Like one day it'll be sunny and beautiful like this. And the next day it'll just be bucketing down rain. But anyway, I'm out here just gonna, just basically uh, wanting to talk to you guys a little bit more about what my goals are for this year. Um, I did touch on it a little bit in the first video, but it was mainly just gym related stuff. So as, as you guys know, I am doing obviously the weightlifting sort of thing, but in terms of, uh, in terms of general goals for me, I want this year to be more about uh, self-development and being able to put myself in situations that I would typically find uncomfortable and just find a way to get comfortable in those situations. Um, I feel like that's probably the best way that an individual can grow is to really put yourself in uncomfortable situations and just experience new things. If you don't experience new things, you're just gonna settle in life and you're never really gonna progress at the rate that you probably could, um, at a faster rate, if that makes sense. Um, I find that a lot of people, when they get comfortable and everything becomes you know, Monday, they just go through life. They don't really, they're, they're not really excited to wake up every day and they're not really happy with where they are. I don't want to be like that. I, I want to, I want to put myself in more situations that um, would really challenge me mentally, um, and just find ways to be more comfortable in in, in certain situations um, and and really put myself out there. So, one example that I've actually tried doing is this: is uh, vlogging. Um, talking to people, um, talking to the camera a lot more and letting you guys into my life. Um, really showing you guys that, you know, anyone can do it. Anyone can really get comfortable in an uncomfortable situation. And um, even if at first it's really scary, it is. Like it could be, it could be, it could be quite scary. It can be quite nervous, you know, um, putting yourself out there, in, especially in public. Um, you know, being in a public place um, and and talking to a camera, like like you don't. In today's day and age, you, you might see a lot more of that, but really depends on where you are. You know, you, you get a lot of people that just they don't they don't see that every day, and it's you know they might look at you a bit funny, they might look at you a bit weird. But one thing I've learned at the end of the day is you really just got to not care about what people think. The more the more that you care less about what people think I feel the happier uh, that you'll be um, and the more willing you'll be to um, do different things and try different things in life um, and, and that's the whole point of of, of, of being uncomfortable um, and, and learning to be comfortable because it forces you to grow um, and so that's one of the things that I'm going to be really trying to do this year is just uh, be more uncomfortable um, but learning to adapt and learning to accept that initially it is going to be uncomfortable, it's going to feel awkward, but if I keep trying and I keep doing it, it should hopefully become more natural. Um, 
the more times I pick up this camera, the more time, the more times I talk to talk to the camera and and and, and just be more vocal, the, the more comfortable I feel with it. And majority of the time, other people don't don't really care either. Um, they'll they'll go about their day, they'll do whatever. Um, it's just it's within you where you have to you have to not overthink things and you have to know that everyone's doing their own thing, you're doing your thing, do your thing and be happy doing it. So that's one of my main goals this year is just be un be more comfortable in uncomfortable situations. And this is a start for me right here. Vlogging and talking to the camera in public and um, just letting you guys into my life a little bit more. Sharing um, sharing what, what, what I do in life and, and um, just being more open. Early stages right now, but I am finding it incredibly enjoyable. Um, it's, it's pretty fun. So, I'm like panting like a dog right now. Like, is like for a ginger, like a white boy like me, I shouldn't be doing this. But another goal is to really challenge the fitness side of things and. I'm also already doing that with the, with the weightlifting thing. Now, with the weightlifting thing, like I mentioned, it's probably not going to go on for a long time. We will see. Um, in terms of powerlifting, I'm not, I don't want to say I'm, I'm done with powerlifting. I'm not done with powerlifting. Um, I'll always love powerlifting. It's, it's something that I, that, I've, that I love to do. Um, but in terms of any competitions or anything like that, um, I don't have any plans as of yet. But the competitions for this year have already come out. Um, there is a state championships in May um, and then there is nationals in I believe it's November nationals will be over in Perth I'm in New South Wales it's about a six hour flight four to six hour flight um, that doesn't bother me but just in terms of like powerlifting and all that sort of stuff my mind's not really on that at the moment I'm really trying to have a lot of fun with, with the whole weightlifting thing like I mentioned in the other video. It's just something that I'm not really focusing on at this stage. Um, like I mentioned, it's not, it's not going to be over completely, um, but we will try to endeavour in it a little bit further and just see where it takes me with, with the whole weightlifting thing. Competing in powerlifting is always something that I've enjoyed and it's a lot of fun, but I'm not focusing on it right now because like I mentioned in the other video, I want to keep my training fun and I want to keep it enjoyable and this is what's doing it for me right now. So even though weights and stuff aren't really that crazy, it's all about technique at the moment, um, it's still very enjoyable and it's, it's a good mental stimulus. So basically what I, what I wanted to talk to you guys about, get comfortable, be more comfortable in uncomfortable and awkward situations, adapt, grow, learn. It's the only way you're going to progress in life and don't take life so seriously. That's another, that's another thing that, uh, that I'm wrapping my head around, is not to take your life so seriously. Um, and just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. Go with the flow. Be present. Don't be worrying about what's going to happen next week. Don't worry about what's going to be happening next month, next year. Don't worry about the past. Don't dwell on the past. Focus on what's happening now. Be present and in the moment. So I'm going to wrap up this part of the video. Going to be heading off to the gym very shortly. I'm going to be going to Castle Hill Adonis instead of my uh, the Adonis that I train at at, at Campbelltown. I'm going to be going to Castle Hill. Um, it is one of their coaches' last day there, so their last day of coaching, and we're all going to go there and uh, and say our goodbyes. Hope you guys like these kind of talks. Um, I don't mind doing them. It's it's quite good because it allows me to really express what I'm thinking. We're going to go now. Going to rehydrate and uh, I'm probably gonna be burning after this I don't know but I'll see you guys at the gym and uh, yeah enjoy the rest of this video guys stay savage hello hello, hello. how are we so hello hello oh, how are you good how are you good, good. what brings you to our neck of the woods brother how are you